Hello and welcome to another X, uh, XG tutorials. <coughs> Today we're going to be doing a, a kind of a, a personal message favorite because I've been getting loads of questions and uh, questions and uh, what do they call it uh, suggestions to do some Sony Vegas and one of them that popped up yesterday was um, 3D text. <coughs> For this, you need Sony Vegas Pro 9. Sony Vegas Pro 9 Platinum Edition does not work. It does not have uh, these settings all up here. Because the one you need to do is to have 3D Source Alpha. So open up just a, a blank uh, untitled thing. Just get them off. Uh, then put in your text. Say, I'm going to put XG Tutorials for this video. XG tutorials like that. Then like you just like edit it a bit. So that and then put like say Halo Free Ryan. Put it like that and then we go. And then we got then what you do is you go to compositing mode and click 3D source alpha. And you see it goes up a little bit blurry there. Then what you can do is save our Hold control, control that uh, enables it to go further and stretch, like all like that. Then you go to track motion and bring this over so you can see, oh, like that. And what happens is you got well, this timeline, which is the timeline like at the bottom here. So if you go to like 15 uh, seconds, there it is. So you want to go like there, and what you want to do is you want to bring that to near the end of your clip, so about there, so it's going to end up like that. Then what you do is you go back to the start, and you can mess around a bit, pull it up a little bit, tilt it, and if you watch, it comes down towards the speed of what you're doing it. Then you can add some nice effects at the back. But that's pretty much how you do 3D deck text. You can like play around a bit and you can make it move even more. By like moving it and then like moving it again. Making it flip even more. And you just you just gotta really play around with this kind of tool. I learnt really just from uh watching other videos and uh like learning from there. So if you look now it's got a bit more variety on it, kind of. That looks pretty cool, actually. Probably if you speed it up a little bit and like put it a bit close together. And you can also move your little dots like this instead. So move that like that, and then uh, move that back down. It'll go a bit faster. Still quite a bit slow, I'd say, for an entrance. So bring it back even more. Really speed it up. See what it looks when it's really speeded up. Bring your end in. Let's have a look. That's it. You want something that's fast and quick. Probably a bit more slower on uh, the ending, I'd say. Yeah. And then, like, you add, like, say, as you can see under my one, it's got tips, tricks, and uh, info. And that's really what you want to do. You want to uh, keep the variety on your uh, in uh, on your intros. What I'll do, though, I'd say, is make your intro first for the videos because you want to be known by videos like Machinima. They've just got a completely simple one. Their logo, Machinima.com, and that's it. That's for every single video they've got. It's just that, which is plain and simple and catches your eye, really. That'll be one of the intros that you think of. Whereas you see some of the people's intros, they're just making videos randomly. They've got about 12 videos and about half of them are just, oh, check out my new intro. You like, just keep one intro and keep it as that. People will remember you by your intro if it's any good. Whereas my um, intro is not the fanciest. I could probably upgrade it a lot more, but... It's basically the point. It's nice and simple and slow. Uh, really, that's all you need. So I'm going to really keep my intro like that. I might change the words at the bottom, but that's probably it. Whereas everyone's going to recognise it, and it's easy. 
basically that's all you've got to do with 3D text. You can just play around with these functions here. You can move it about a bit more. But uh, make sure that you keep it on 3D, otherwise it doesn't work. And really, that's it. Then really, really the best bit after is just adding a bit of background. If you go to Media Generator. And go to uh, Noise Texture, that's it. And then like, you've got different things. So Lightning, that's always a good one. Put that in the... In the uh, layer underneath so it's underneath I think yeah and then you can play around with that bit later you know like that keep it in your uh, you don't have to do uh, 3D text but what you do now it's a bit different with this you put it say style like that then like you just what I tend to do is just edit these a little and just move them about see what happens and like move them Just keep doing that, and then I like, just click on that again. Just move them again. Very boring kind of thing, but it's very effective if you can uh, get it right. Sometimes mine doesn't move at the back. I don't know why, so that's probably why it's similar. Like that. And then uh, keep going like that, moving it up and down, and then get right to the end. Change them all. Just put them all up. See what happens. I've never really put them all up before. I wonder what's going to happen. Dun dun dun. Change the colour to blue. And there we go. Let's watch it. As soon as it bloody starts. There we go. Oh, hold on. I'll rent. And another good tip before we go. See what then there are multiple things here. If you press, sh if you highlight it all, uh, it can do 20 seconds. If you hold Shift and B, you'll see it uh, render it a bit more. Um, so it plays it perfectly. You can see a bit now, but it's uh, very laggy at the minute, and then it'll render it, kind of render beforehand. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Whoa, and then, bang, background. See, even, that, that was just a quick thing, and uh, it's really easy. Okay, let's have a look at a preview of it, get on a big screen. Let's go. Whoa! Let's have a look on a little screen. See even something like that that catches your eye a little bit. Fair enough, it's not the best in Joker's. Obviously, you could do so much better. You could add different effects, like different colours, like this, and uh, wood, all that kind of stuff. Lava's pretty good as well if you know how to use it. The clouds, and really, what you got to do is play around with it. But uh, that's basically it, really, with 3D text. You just got to mess around a little bit with the uh, 3D-ness even though it's a word and really that's kind of it uh, that's been another extreme gaming tutorials um, if you have any other anything photoshop uh, sony vegas anything to do with anything like that tutorials just uh, send me a message back i will reply to any message fair enough but i probably won't reply to stupid messages like how is your dog Anyway, um, that's it really for today. Uh, check out more vids at my channel. Post a idea in the channel in the moderator box, which is new to my channel. And I'll see you later.